Hey there, I hope you can help me optimize my workflow. Um, this is just a sort of sort of contrived example where I have a GoPro footage and, and two uh, iPhone clips which I took whilst walking down the road. Um, the, the idea is that I, can, I want to be able to do um, a picture in picture of these two clips uh, or maybe switch between the angles. Um, I, I like to switch between the angles, I just think it it's, makes it nicer to watch for some reason. Um, so the first problem, problem number one, is that if I go um, cre um, create a multi-pan cam clip and I, and I go by um, automatic, which is the default, the, I've done that already here. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, no. um, it's actually just not in sync. You can see that my arm's not raised there. Um, so my workaround for this is that I have gone for a new multicam clip uh, and I sync uh, by content created and that seems to get better results for me. Um, unfortunately on the GoPro footage I find that uh, they use um, the current time for the UTC and it gets all mixed up but uh, this generally works better. So if I sync that, in, put that in there, then I'm uh, into the angle editor. Now this brings me to my second problem. So I got the GoPro and I got the iPhone. I simply want to be able to move this into here. Um, and I'm always worried if I'm dragging it that I'm going to like slightly get out of sync. Is, this, is there an easier way to um, sort of do that? That's problem number two. So let me just check the, um, this, how do I check this even? Okay, this looks right. This looks right. So, what do I do now? I go um, back out. And this problem number three here is that I can't see the, the, the I want to be able to see the angles somehow on, on this project timeline. And I can't. Um, but oh well. So, let's go for the picture in picture effect. Oh, okay. Um, so, the way to do that is to drag the thing over there, right? Okay, so in this one, I'm basically just doing the iPhone, right? And now I want to uh, transform it so that it's like this picture in picture thing. Oh yeah, that's problem number four. Um, how do you do like, you know, Instagram style, style layout so that it's like one, you know, so it's like tiled? I don't like doing this by hand. Okay, so, right. Let's just put the picture in picture here, just for argument's sake. Um, done. And then hopefully this will work. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good. Um, like say I want, um, okay, problem number five. Say I want to use this audio, but not that audio. Um, do I just like do a range selection here? And I hate how it does, you see how the audio goes over here, but not the video. Okay, so it could be. Um, my recording just crashed. I have to resume this. Oh, um, looks like Final Cut Pro 10 just crashed. Joy to the world. Oh dear.
Take two. Um, okay, so unfortunately it crashed. But hopefully, I find when it crashes it actually kind of keeps it going quite well. Okay, so yeah, we have the picture in picture here. Picture in picture. Oh, I was trying to uh, maybe range it so that the, I could drop the audio here. Is that what people? Is that what people do? I also found that sometimes that my um, I say here uh, go to the transform thing again. I've had issues. I guess this would be problem six or something. Uh, how do I see the transformation stuff? Transform. Um, hmm. Anyway, I was going to say bemoan that sometimes I find that the um, oh yeah, here, that uh, if I do this by mouse, it goes goes like really crazy. Oh, but it's it's fine here. And sometimes it's upside down and I have to go into inspector. Um, well, that's problem six, but uh, I can't show it to you right now because it doesn't seem to be happening. Okay, so um, the next problem is that um, I've synced it up. I've done the picture in picture. Awesome. Now I need to uh, basically edit the video down because I don't want this sort of stuff in the, in the top here. So usually what I do is go in and then I'm going over here and then I go out. But um, unfortunately, um, well, I think I'm on the wrong thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be able to, um, try to go out here to select things both at the same time. So my workaround has been to go uh, create new compound clip. Um, and again, I can't see the picture in pictures very easily, which is annoying. I, I kind of hoped something like expand, show, video animation would somehow show it. But it doesn't. So anyway, so basically, I, once they're together, I go like out point here. This is the second one, endpoint here. So now, now this is basically me, me, me uh, finish editing um, my picture in picture uh, two angle thing. Actually, that's not absolutely um, synced. I can tell. Um, and then I would go back into um, the angle editor manually adjust it. Unfortunately, so yeah, um, I lost track of the problems there, but hopefully that all made sense. And um, if you have any suggestions how to optimize my flow and tell me what I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Thank you.